How's it going everyone? My name's Isle. Welcome back to some more Ladder Heroes. It's actually uh, been a while since I did one of these. I missed last week because I kind of got stuck with some IRL things. But anyway, we're back and today we're on the map Babylon. Now, today's a little bit of a fun one because I do not just have a single game. I have a series that uh, was played um, in a little bit of a tournament called the Ultimate Noob Tournament. It was super fun. Anyway, let me be before I start talking about that, let me talk about the players. First of all, we have our green Terran player. It is Furnace. The opponent is our purple Protoss player. Some really interesting colors today. It is Luan. So, this was a really fun tournament. I was invited to join in this one over on Furnace's Twitch uh, stream. And we had a lot of fun with this. We played a whole bunch of games. There were four of us. Um, yeah. It, it was called the Ultimate Noob Tournament for a reason. We were just uh, we were just having fun kicking it out in some StarCraft 2 custom games. Now both games, or all the games in this tournament, were played on the map Babylon. And let's have a look at what these two are doing. So obviously this is custom, this is not quite a ladder game. But hey, it still counts as ladder here. It's a bunch of people just going out, playing some StarCraft, having a great old time. So yeah, but yeah, th this one was really fun. Um, I've got a couple of the replays from this uh, little tournament that I want to do, but for today I'm starting with this one because um, I know, and now I did see the games, obviously, we were all kind of in the lobby um, and we watched each other's games even when we were playing. So I know what's going to happen, but I know in, in this series we had some really fun games, um, yeah, between these two players. Anyway. If we have a look, starting out for Furnace, we have a barracks into factory into a second barracks. On the other side, our Protoss player has decided to go for gateway into Cybercore with the early forge, because sure. And then the Nexus. Zealot is already out, kind of just standing there, doing its thing. Ooh, early Robo. Okay, okay, very interesting. Couple of marines on the way here, as well as the starport. Um, yeah, a little bit of time before anything really happens in this one. That is a very quick plus one upgrade. Okay, very interesting. Um, I think if I had to judge, these two players are around the silver and gold leagues. I think. Can't remember. But around there. Um, so yeah. We'll see what happens here. Anyway. Tanks coming up. We have a tech lab on one barracks. Reactor on the other. And a quick cloak for banshees. Ooh. Sneaky little banshees. Always very fun. So far it seems like Furnace is going for a one base play. Couple of SUVs having a tea party here. Yeah? Hey guys, come on, you, you can't be so slack after building a depot. Thank you, back to work. There you go. Get back to work. I love this. I love the uh, um, kind of setup here. So Furnas, he, he has this really intricate way of building. He has residential zones, and then he's also got um, where his kind of industrial zone is and all the production happens. Uh, I'm talking nonsense. Um, so far on the other side, we are lacking a little bit of units here. Two Stalkers and a Zealot. A couple of probes are transferring across, so we're sitting at almost almost one and a half based, uh, base saturation. And then a Twilight Council behind this. Okay, here we go. Our Terran player is making a move across the map with a bunch of Marines and a Liberator see what can happen and what he can get done on the other side of the map now cloak is finished right now zealot comes out and does see it and dies so hopefully it was able to report back in time there's the cloak there are no observers out just yet and the cloak 
the cloaked banshee is gonna give it plenty in the base okay tank does fall this immortal is pretty good but man with gun man with gun very strong cloaked banshee is starting to get rid of a ton of workers there is an observer on the way but it's gonna be a little while hello that's not where i want to go there it is and even when the uh when the observer comes out there's not much to help defend the rest of the terran army is still standing strong outside yeah banshee goes into the main starting to deal with a lot more or deal a lot more worker damage stalkers are moving across into the main to try to deal with the banshee yep okay yeah there we go tanks sieging up on the uh outside the natural yeah there we go this is a nice little attack Banshee is dealt with, but now there are a couple of tanks and some marines to deal with on the outside. And, uh, I don't think this is enough. No. Our Terran player over here, Furnace, he's going to have a great old time here. That stalker is... Oh. Alright. GG. Game number one goes to Furnace. Straight into game number two. Now we have Furnace playing with a little bit of Zerg and we have a very early spawning pool. That was a 13 pool, 12 pool? Very early spawning pool. Oh, I slowed it down too much. There we go, we're back up to speed. So we had a couple of rules in this tournament. Uh, one of the rules was no TVT mat, oh no TVT, no mirror matchups. I mean, TVT was included. Um, for the main reason that uh, mirror matchups are painful to most people. And when we're on the ladder and we're kind of hitting out these uh these games yeah we, we do them because we have to not because we quite want to so that was a fair rule i think and in this game so far we have the early pool into what looks like it's going to be a 19 hatchery so it is a build gateway and a forge once again okay interesting there we go there we go there we go all right so the hatchery is coming up we see gas being mined really nice and early on the other side a second gateway is being made so now obviously a, the adjustment where is the second gateway oh no it must have been that one is this a full wall why do i have a i have a funny feeling this is not a full wall all right interesting interesting overlord not going for the usual pillar position over here right that is the pillar no that's not the pillar Wait, where's the pillar on babylon um oh it, there isn't one i think your closest is probably there yes yes i don't know the maps all right otherwise ooh, early roach warren second gas the natural is still on the way so we're going to see a little bit of aggression here. Drones are starting to go over to the natural. Not yet any mining that can happen over there. But um, yeah, we'll see what develops in this one. Couple more zealots. Gateway. Oh, gateway. Oh, I can't say the names of things. Nexus coming up. A Stargate opener. That's a change. And a Baneling Nest. Eight Zerglings already on the production. So let's see what happens in this one. Shield battery coming up just for a little bit of defense. Second Stargate. Ooh, we have a Sky Toss player. I don't blame him. I don't blame uh, Luan for going for the Sky Toss. It is a strong unit composition. And um, yeah, a couple of voids will hard counter any road shenanigans that could potentially be coming up it isn't a, a, an oracle initially that's fine nothing wrong with an oracle at first queens being made okay so no overlord speed okay and then we have the robo facility okay so what's the second unit coming out of the stargate Um, nothing, apparently. <laughs> Sorry. Void race would have been good. 
Okay, here comes the Oracle. Let's see if the Oracle can get some damage done. Okay, Pulsar Beam is uh, started pretty early. That's uh, four workers still on. Now you gotta be careful of the Queen. Okay, that, that's decent value. Oh, Spore is already by the main base, so Oracle's gonna get out. Nothing more to kill in the natural. Good start, good start. Six roaches in the production menu. Well, the production menu, the production tab. I can't speak today, but hey, it's Ladder Heroes. This is chilled. We're kind of just having a good time here. We're just watching some StarCraft from... Ooh. It's a Nidus. The Nidus is spotted. The Oracle dies. All right, so... Gotta know that there is a Nidus on the way at this stage. I definitely would have cancelled that to get a Void Ray out. Oracle is not quite that useful. I like the Immortal. More Immortals on the way. Immortals obviously pretty good against the Rochi Roaches. Now this is one base aggression. There is no droning on the natural. So the natural is just there to sell the story. Maybe. But definitely just there for a little bit of lava. Okay, so, ah, there's the Overseer. Okay, with that speed, that is a zoomy boy of note. Is it just me or do Overseer's creep you out? Overseer, where are you going? Mr. Overseer? The enemy base is the other way. Mr. Overseer, hello? Ah, there you go. Don't worry, guys. You just got a little bit lost. You see, with so many eyes, it's very hard to orientate yourself. Hard to know exactly where you're supposed to be going. The Overseer is now moving in the right direction. What do we have to defend here? Um, not that much. Okay, Nidus. Nidus. Do it. You know you want to. Roach speed and Baneling speed coming. There it is. There it is. Nidus is on the way. A whole ton of roaches in there. Are there any queens in? think so I don't see any Queens there's one Queen there so there should be Queens in the uh, Nidus as well reaction time pretty darn slow and there comes the Zerg popping out of the Nidus and they're starting to go ham on all of these buildings warping is happening Zerglings are starting to work on those stalkers Ugh. immortals yeah okay there is micro moving forward but with those Queens helping um, this is a position of a little bit of trouble. Oracle comes back to help defend, but oh, that's a lot of Zerg in the base. The models are good, but they're not quite that good. Queens get rid of the Oracle. The Roaches are starting to deal uh, with the Immortals. Uh, the last Immortal is on the way out. Stalk is gone. Structures are being dealt with. The infrastructure is being removed. And I think... This is going to be comfortable. There it is. GG. And a win for Furnace in this best of three series. He takes the series 2-0 to zero over the one. This was a little bit of a fun one. Now, like I say, I saw the games. Um, and it was good fun to play. Um, so, yeah. Thanks, Furnace, for the invite to the tournament. It was really great fun. And uh, thanks for both players for allowing me to use this replay. Because, yeah. Just a fun... I love the ladder heroes. I love being able to just cast some games from the ladder um sometimes i'll be mean today i'm feeling nice so i wasn't mean because this was just fun this was this was kind of what starcraft is all about just just hanging out having a little bit of fun playing some interesting strats and anyway if you have a replay that you want me to cast on the channel then make sure to check the discord out uh the link is in the description and you can uh, connect with me over there you can share your replays and maybe i will be casting your match in the future i have a bunch of replays that i still want to cast from a couple of players um but yeah anyway thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to like the video subscribe if you want to see more starcraft 2 content uh have a great rest of your weekend and i will see you in the next one